What will the online schedule look like for middle and high school students? For our students at high school who are um, used to an A day, B day type of schedule, we are going to try to stick to a schedule like that. So for our students in high school, um, their A day classes will be pushing out content on Mondays that will be due on Wednesday and then their B day classes will be pushing out content on Tuesdays that will be due on Thursdays. And then Fridays each week is going to be a day for um, catching up on assignments or an ability for teachers to reach out to individual students who may not have mastered that content. So Friday is our day for continuous improvement and continued learning um, on an as needed basis for students. So that's what we know about high school. Um, middle school, of course, has a little bit different flexibility. We're probably going to see a lot more assignments pushed out at the beginning of the week and then do later on in the week. But our high school, our middle schools do have some flexibility for that. Um, at our elementary levels, I know that each campus is kind of approaching things in a different way. Our focus will be on something called asynchronous learning. That was a new vocabulary word for me in the last week and a half. And the idea behind asynchronous learning is that it, we will not, we'll minimize the amount of time that students have to be online in front of the computer at a specific time. So teachers, uh, we'll be videotaping lessons, videotaping greetings, and then having a, a different time during the day when office hours, if you will, or time when uh, students can reach out and, and get questions answered and things like that. But we know that families have multiple kids that uh, may be needing to get on computers and during the day to do work for classes. We also know that most of us are working from home. And so, I, I know my family was not prepared to, you know, we don't have five laptops just laying around for everybody to get online. And if we did, as some of our, some of our, my own colleagues have found out, the bandwidth uh, issue becomes, you know, quite challenging. And as we do Zoom meetings like this, you see somebody freeze up on the screen and then they have to get off and go tell their kid they can't do their homework right now because they need to be on the meeting. So we wanna be as flexible as possible with the timing that your students will be able to, to do the work. We will be focusing on asynchronous learning, but we will also have some opportunities for synchronous learning. Um, so our therapies um, and any small group instruction that will be live through Zoom or another video conferencing method, um, those will be scheduled with you to make sure that it's a, a great time for the student and a great time for you as well as the teacher.